Well, I would not say that the, the, the subject is the same of the first song, because in the first one she ends up saying, the, the lady, the author, ends up saying that she wants to quit living <coughs> because there's no way she can keep on living while having the sadness <coughs> of fun within her. This, this next one is not bad, badly, but that fatal. <laughs> but, but anyway, it's about uh, the person, and this is very true. These words are very true for us. Uh, someone that sings Fado since forever, just like my case, um, we end up seeing details of the stories and details of the feelings that we have in Fado. We see it everywhere in our lives. We see it in the happy moments, in the sad moments in the very fine stories, in the not very fine uh, events. So it's like we have Fado all around us and we feel it all around us. That's why it's called Fado of the Senses, because she's saying that Fado is in her every senses. The music is a very beautiful melody and it was composed by a very famous Portuguese guitar player. He's not among us anymore, but he was from Porto and he played for Amalia for several decades. Uh, it, was, it was really, really very gentle man and very kind and very creative. Uh, he played the Portuguese guitar. It's this instrument. I don't know if you ever yeah. saw this instrument before. Maybe yeah. I'm repeating things that you already know, but the Portuguese guitar, it, it was first born in Porto back in the 18th century. And it's in fact the most iconic sound that we relate to Portuguese music, whether it's uh, Fado or not. So, this is our homage to Von Rocha, who is the guitar player and composer of this, of this next song. Obrigada. <coughs> Tristezas no 